Hi guys and welcome back to the Mighty Blues. My name is of course Cameron and welcome back today to another video. There you go, Everton have confirmed the signing of Vitaly Mikalenko. The Ukrainian left back has joined the Blues after weeks of rumours surrounding his future and whether or not he would sign for Everton. It has now been confirmed. The Ukrainian defender has signed from Dynamo Kiev for an undisclosed fee on a deal until the summer of 2026. So he signed a four-year deal with Everton Football Club, a four-and-a-half-year deal, I suppose, obviously, with us now being in January of 2022. The rumour was it was around 18 to £20 million. Pounds. Obviously, the club have stated it is an undisclosed fee, so we won't don't know that as being confirmed but we do know it's around 18 to 20 million pounds and the Ukrainian left back is finally an Everton player he was presented to Evertonians yesterday Jordan Everton's game against Brighton unfortunately his first experience of a match there at Goodison Park didn't quite go how he would have liked or how any of us would have liked um, but he was presented to the fans at Goodison last night and he did watch on from the stands at Goodison of course and as I said this is a you know, a, a player who Everton have been linked with for a number of weeks now. The rumours have been growing and growing and growing over the last couple of weeks or so. So it's good news that we've managed to get this deal over the line. And also get this deal over the line so early on <clears throat> in the transfer window as well. Everton have been notorious for leaving their transfer business late, typically. Uh, certainly in the summer and, and, and certainly in January as well. So to say that we've had, you know, we've done a deal for a new left-back, an exciting young player who looks really, really good, um, you know, within the first couple of hours of the transfer window opening is is absolutely fantastic. Obviously, the rumours were that this deal has been done for a number of weeks now, which is, which is also a big positive, and Everton were just waiting for the transfer window to officially open before announcing the deal, and that's exactly what was the case of course uh, the the club announced Mikalenko at around about 10 11 o'clock on New Year's Day morning so um yeah all all, all good stuff happy uh, happy days as I said looks like a really really talented young left back obviously he's only in his early 20s so he's got a lot of you know room to improve he's got a lot of time to improve he's got a lot of time to you know, build and grow as a as a player. He's 22 years of age. He'll turn 23 in May. So again, as I said, still you know very young and got a lot of time and and, and room to improve. He is coming into a, a new league, of course, in the Premier League, and then it'll be interesting to see how he adapts. Um, you know, and how he settles in to the Premier League. But he's got all of the attributes to you know of a player that will will do absolutely fine in this league. He likes to get forward. He likes to create chances. He loves a good uh, slide and challenge. You know, he's not a afraid to put himself about he can defend as well obviously there's room to improve and there's various elements of his game that will need to be improved if he's going to be a you know a long-standing Premier League fullback but there's there's definitely definitely some positive signs now it does you know mean unfortunately that Luca Dean's time at the football club probably is up as I've said it before and I'll say it again I really can't see Everton spending 20 odd million pounds on a new left back if Luca Dean is going to remain at the football club but you know, looking on, on the side of bringing in Vitaly Mikhalenko, as I said, it is a positive sign. And 22 years old, young left back, uh, you know, looks tenacious, looks like he, he isn't afraid to get forward, put a tackle in. Obviously, I can't sit here and say I've watched the Ukrainian league week in, week out for the last however many years. So I know, uh, you know, uh, a really good detailed account of him. I have only watched them now and again in clips. I've seen him a couple of times in games, seen him for Ukraine in, in, in the summer, during the Euros, and he looked like a, a standout player there as well. So I've, I've watched him a number of times and he has impressed me, but obviously I haven't sat and watched him week in, week out for a sustained period of time. So it's difficult to form any sort of real judgment, but I like what I see certainly so far. Mikhailenko did have an interview with EvertonFC.com, of course, upon joining. He said, moving to Everton is a big and important step in my life. Life. I have always dreamed of playing in the Premier League. English football is where the game was born and I think that it will suit my game very well. I am 22 but I don't feel like a youngster. I have experience of playing at European level and I hope I will continue to improve as a player. <coughs> Pardon me. 
He also said, I am excited about the opportunity of playing in front of our supporters at Everton. I have seen the last few games at Goodison Park and they were unbelievable. They are incredible fans to whom I feel great responsibility. I like to play on the front foot and get forward when I can. Modern football demands that fullbacks are able to attack as well as defend and I think I am a versatile defender who can get up and down the pitch. But I believe desire and commitment are the most important attributes and I will aim to bring those qualities. I hope it won't take me too long to to settle in and get used to the style of football I feel great right now and it is very important for me to communicate with the team uh, the management and the fans for that I will need sorry for that I need to learn the language and understand the culture of this city this country and this club I will do my very best uh, I believe here at Everton with the club's transitions uh, sorry with the club's traditions and ambitions I will grow as a person and as a player so really positive comments from from Vitaly Mikhalenko there he did go to his Instagram and uh, on, on New Year's Day to say I'm delighted to have completed my challenge to Everton very honoured to be part of your big football family greetings to all Everton fans so that was a nice little message as well he was pictured with contract Dave of course which was um you know, which would obviously give us all the confirmation that this was official. You know, when you see contact Dave sitting down at the table with a player, you know that, you know, everything is, is as should be. But like I said, really, really good, nice words there from Vitaly Mikhalenko and, and exactly what you would expect them to say, you know, exactly the type of things you would expect the new signing to come out and talk about, you know, like, you know, wanting to play for the football club, do the best, show that desire, show that commitment, talking there about his abilities as a fullback to get forward, but also defend as well and talk talks about the importance of the defensive um you know, responsibilities of a fullback because, you know, Vitaly Mikhalenko was right. Ultimately, a modern day fullback is typically somebody that gets forward, creates chances, puts balls into the box, is a, a part of the attacking outfit and outlet of, uh, of a team. But it's also absolutely imperative that your fullback can defend at the end of the day. It's, you know, it's no good than being absolutely unbelievable forward. But when it comes to the defensive duties, they're a little bit shaky or they're not quite as good. And, and yes, you know, Vitaly Mikhalenko will have to improve on all of that. And as he says himself, he'll have to set into the league and he hopes it doesn't take him um, <clears throat> too long to do that but it's important that he understands the importance of, of of being you know a good defender as well first and foremost you know if you're a full back yes it's important to be able to get forward and create chances in in modern football but first and foremost you're still a defender you still form part of that back four or back five that have to be able to do a decent defensive job every single time they go onto that pitch and it's important that Vitaly Mikhalenko realizes that as well let's have a little bit of a look at his stats for Dynamo uh, Kiev <coughs> over the last um you know couple of games or so so he's played five champions league games this season so he is an experienced champions league player uh he hasn't registered any goals or assists he's been a part of the start 11 in those games 83 percent of times and has played 83 percent of minutes in the competition as well so he's actually he's actually sacrificed playing champions league football with dynamo kiev to you know to have this move to Everton and, and, and to have this move to to the Premier League so it shows exactly you know that he, he's ambitious that he wants to come he wants to do well he wants to work hard he talks there about you know his commitment and his desire and, and believing that that is number one in football you've got to show that you care you've got to show that you want to work hard you want to battle and, and I think that's something that the manager, Rafael Benitez, has, has maybe used against Luca Dean in, in recent weeks. You know, whenever he's been asked about Luca Dean and why he is or isn't in the team or why he isn't involved in the start of 11, he speaks about commitment and, 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 you know, selecting the right players who've got the right desire and the right commitment to want to, you know, work for the team and, and want to do the very best for the team. And, you know, again, it's clear that the manager is questioning Luca Dean's commitment and where his, where his priorities lie. So it's good to hear Vitaly Mikhalenko come out and talk about the fact that you know commitment desire you know giving 110 percent for the team is 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 first and foremost uh, in the ukrainian league then the premier league uh, he had 15 appearances with three assists no goals two yellow cards again 83 percent starting 11 uh, and he played 79 percent of minutes in there as well he didn't register any appearances in uh, the ukraine polka uh, I, I believe that is a domestic competition and in the uh, Ukraine Super Cup he registered one appearance uh, starting in that game and playing uh, the entirety of the game as well so obviously stats aren't unbelievable to look at but it is important to realize that um, 
I don't think it's very far into the Ukrainian season, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. So, you know, it's easy to look at them stats and and not really be able to take too much from. Um, But the biggest positive is that we've signed Vitaly Mikhailenko. Now the deal is over the line. Hopefully, uh, it's followed by uh, Nathan Patterson, who there's been heavy rumours of today about a deal for him becoming uh, closer and closer and closer. So hopefully we'll be able to sit here and talk about Nathan Patterson becoming Everton's second January signing very, very shortly. We know how desperate we are for a right-back and we know how desperate we have been for a right-back for the last, what, four or five years now. Um, and look, some people still won't be massively happy with the Mikhailenko deal because it means, unfortunately, that we might see the end of Luka Dean's time as an Everton player and some people won't be happy with the fact that the club have gone out and spent 20-odd million pounds on a left-back when we've already got a left-back at the club. But if, if, if Luka Dean is going to leave and the club is sort of you know, already of, of that of that mindset that Luka Dean will be leaving, then ultimately we were always going to need a replacement. We were always going to need somebody that could come in and take that place. And, you know, as I said, Mikhailenko looks, you know, to be a, a really, really good, promising young left-back. Albeit I haven't seen an awful lot of him. What I have seen of him, he, he's really, really impressed me. And from what he's saying in the media and, and the quotes that he's coming out with, um, you know, a very, very impressive as well. So just can't wait to see him on the pitch now. Just can't wait to see him in an Everton shirt and hopefully he can get his head down, work really, really hard and, you know, uh, he can have a, a positive impact from the goal. But there you go. Everton have confirmed the signing of Vitaly Mikhailenko. The Ukrainian left-back has signed for an undisclosed fee from Dynamo Kiev and has joined Everton until the summer of 2026. So really, really exciting stuff there. Let us know your thoughts on it in the comments section down below. Are you happy with the signing? Are you a little bit sort of bittersweet because of the situation with Luca Dean or are you putting the Luca Dean situation out your mind and just focusing solely on what is I, I think a good a good sign and a 22 year old left back looks the part defends isn't afraid to get forward can put a tackle in and if you can settle in to the Premier League, I think we could have some some player on our hands. So let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you've enjoyed this one, please, please do leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new as well. You can become a member of the channel as well if you want. That is by joining the join button down below. And it's only 99p and it would mean a massive, massive amount to me. But massive, massive thank you for watching. Really, really do appreciate it. Leave a like if you have enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you soon on the Mighty Blues.